Val di Fiemme in Trentino, Italy was the venue as the 2023 Tour de Ski came to an exciting climax over three days of exhilarating racing. The warm and difficult conditions that have plagued the last few weeks continued, but that didn't dampen the action on the piste. Getting it all underway was the women's sprint. Norway had three athletes in the final with Germany, the Czech Republic and Finland won each. While it was Germany's Katarina Hennig who made most of the running in the final, it turned out to be a desperately close affair. With all athletes in contention, it was the finishing first of Lotte Veng that proved the difference, as the 26-year-old just got the better of her twin sister Tyrrell, while compatriot Mathilde Mervold came home third. So the top four separated by less than a second in a thrilling start of the weekend, with Henning just missing out on the podium. Lotte Veng wins an individual race on the World Cup for the first time, as Norway dominate on day one of the women's competition with a clean sweep of the women's sprint. In the men's sprint, all eyes were on Johannes Kleibo of Norway. The 26-year-old had won every cross-country race since December the 31st and was looking for a staggering fifth successive victory. Andy Julie delivered in a lunge for the line, coming home in front of Kalle Halvorsen of Sweden. The Norwegian, a tour de force and the man to beat right now on the World Cup Tour. Kleibo in first, Halvorsen in second, with Simone Mucciolini giving the home fans something to cheer about in third. The results meant that Clivo strengthened his grip on the Tour de Ski leader's bib with two events remaining. Halverson with his second podium of the season and Mocellini registered only the second podium in his World Cup career. Day two saw attention switch to the 15km Mass Star Classic with the women getting things underway. And with the race for the Tour de Ski title tightening after Frida Carlson failed to make the sprint semi-finals the day before, was there a momentum shift happening? As the race progressed, the leading pack of skiers was slowly whittled down and at halfway, all the main contenders were at the front and by the finish there were four remaining. It was Katarina Hennig who came out on top as the German registered her first World Cup win of her career. Frieda Carlson bounced back with a second place finish and Kurt Niskanen just picked Rosie Brennan to third. Incredibly, this was Germany's first cross-country victory for a woman on the World Cup since 2009. In the men's 15km mass start, the question everyone was asking was could Johannes Kleibo be beaten? As the race unfolded, it became clear that no one athlete could break away from the rest of the field. Kleibo was near the front, controlling the pace and protecting his overall Tour de Ski lead. When it came to the finishing straight, the rest tried to apply the pressure. But Clyver had the answers as he powered away to make it a record-breaking sixth consecutive win on the Tour de Ski. Clyver takes the win, while they finish second with Francesco Di Fabiani of Italy taking third. Clyver, the first athlete to win the first six races in the Tour de Ski, had a vice-like grip on the overall event standings. The third and final day of the Tour de Ski saw yet more warm weather and wet, difficult snow conditions as the women tackled the iconic run of the lung-bursting, leg-burning Alp de Sermis in a 10km mass-free start. Frida Carlsen was the Tour de Ski leader and she held a 72-second advantage over Tilving of Norway going into the race. Carlsen managed the early stages well, taking bonus points to protect her lead. The race was won by Climate Delphine Claudel of France, the first win of her career. Carlson came home in 15th, a minute 40 off the pace of the winner. Claudel with the win, Heidi Veng in second in their first World Cup podium for the USA's Sophia Lockley. Frieda Carlson takes her first Tour de Ski title, beating Finland's Kurti Niskanen to second, for Till Veng of Norway third. The last event was the men's 10km mass start, with the specialist climbers trying to take 1 minute 45 seconds out of Johannes Kleibo to deny him the overall win. Simon Kruger seemed the man most likely to do it as he led the charge up the mountain. The 29-year-old gave it his best shot, but in truth didn't have enough uphill to work with. He got the deficit down to under a minute, but couldn't take it further. Clyburn came home in a battling sick. I'm super satisfied and it's uh, as perfect as it can get. So now it's really good that it's uh, done and I can go back and relax for some days at least. A brilliant win for Kruger, his second up this piece ahead of Hans Holland. Jules Lapierre of France with his first World Cup podium in his career. 
final two of the ski standings are as follows. Clybo takes the win by nearly a minute from Kruger and then Holland. Well, what a week and a bit of Tour de Ski action we have witnessed. Frida Carlsson of Sweden cements her name in her nation's cross-country record book by winning the women's title. On the men's side, it's Johannes Kleiber who set a record of six consecutive victories, deservedly taking the title as Norway sweep the podium. That's it for the 2023 Tour de Ski. What a competition we've been treated to. The cross-country skiers now have a week off before heading to Lavigno in Italy. In the meantime, you can keep up to date with all the news by heading to the FIS app on your smartphone or tablet.